nothing. I'm real, bro. Listen, Tom Brady, more than any other season, has has really taken issue with he's, people doubting he's him. He's created a chip on his shoulder, man. The, the universally accepted greatest quarterback of all time has, is nobody believes in him. And yeah. is. No one like believes in him. Like the fifth time you've heard something like I'm that. I'm just going to tell, hey, man, he, he is the GOAT. But I did see those pictures from the combine. <laughs> I know what you used to look like. All right. Well, and the, listen, credit to the Pats. They found a way to get... Part of Brady's greatness is at 41 being incredibly wealthy and all that so accomplished to grind as hard as he does. And they found a little something extra in between the Chargers game and the Chiefs game, which was whether it was real or not, it felt real to them. You saw Edelman selling the t-shirts, Hogan and him talking about it after the game. So it, so, something that. worked, whether it was the chip, uh, the underdog what about mentality, being good at football, being good at football. Game, that was the my ball third accurate. one. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> Time for stories to start your morning. Clay Thompson went off last night. Warriors, Lakers. Clay tied an NBA record by making 10 straight three pointers. He finished with 44 points. Warriors rolled LA. Remember that slump he was in? Nick, how impressive was Clay last night? I mean, this is somehow not one of Clay's five most impressive shooting performances we've <laughs> seen, which just speaks to how when he gets hot, how. It's, it's a different level. It's a, it hit, Clay Hot is the best shooter we've ever seen. Now, Clay overall, not the best shooter we've ever seen. That's his teammate. But Clay on fire, it's NBA Jam style. Made 10 in a row to start the game, missing 11. It's like, yeah, I don't need to shoot anymore. He was spectacular. Oh, he made it look so easy. <laughs> it's so easy. He's got a beautiful shot. Man, with the Lakers even overplaying the three point line, there was nothing you can do. And right, Jenna, he was in a shooting slump until like two weeks ago. Absolutely. All right, to so the NFL now, Drew. Drew Brees says he will be back next season. It'll be his 19th season in the NFL and his 14th with the Saints. So you think Brees has just one more playoff run at least left in him? Absolutely. And the reason why that team that they put around him, they got two running backs, young, very, very effective. Um, the wide receivers, I still believe they need some help. That's why they signed Dez Bryant. They could have used Dez Bryant or Brandon Marshall, someone opposite of Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas will get a big contract, but yes, Sean Payton, Drew Brees, I do believe they will be back in contention next season. And Brees, it was never really on the board that he was going to walk away, not only because at least for the first 10, 11 weeks of the year he's playing at an MVP level, but also if you read, like Drew Brees, it, Drew Brees had some poor investments, unfortunately, and they want to keep paying him $30 million a year. He's going to keep making that money. Now, Brees and the Saints need to figure out why their offense went into such a slump over the last couple months of the season. They need another wide receiver opposite of Michael Thomas. All right, on to the Rams now. Despite him not making a big impact in the NFC Championship game, Sean McVay says Todd Gurley is healthy ahead of the Super Bowl. Chris, do you think Gurley bounces back in the Super Bowl? I hope so. I mean, because the Rams are a special team. A lot of that offense is put together because they run that zone scheme. And Todd Gurley, a one cut back, a big back, who's also, he can hit the home run anywhere on the field. That's what makes that offense really special. C.J. Anders has been a great story, but you're not going to run the ball with him, that little bowling ball run against the New England Patriots. They play run defense, too disciplined. They need Todd Gurley. Gurley, F the Rams are going to host the Lombardi. And, and listen, Todd Gurley's the only player on the offense that is a singular player within the league. And by that, I mean Brandon Cooks is a really good receiver. The other receivers like Brandon Cooks, other receivers better than Brandon Cooks. Andrew Whitworth is an excellent left tackle. He might be the best in the league, but he's probably second or third. Todd Gurley, when healthy, is the best all-around running back in the league and the guy that has been the centerpiece, not Jared Goff, of this offense over the last two years. They've got to have him effective to have a chance in the Super Bowl. And finally, after having a bit of a down season, Rob Gronkowski made a number of catches on the final drives of the Patriots' overtime victory against the Chiefs. Afterwards, Gronk talked about how he's just here to help the team. Basically what the doctor orders. <laughs> or the coach, what the coach orders. Uh, coach slash doctor orders. So uh, whatever it is, um, I got a block, I got to receive. Uh, you know, it's crucial. I, I, mean, I mean, the team depends on me in such many situations in the run game and in the pass game. And uh, I've been just fighting all year long. So when the situations come like this, I'm ready to go, ready to make some plays. So whatever 
coaches ask me to do, I'm always down to try, try my best and give it my all. Gronk. He just looks like a like a Gronk. Sounds like a Gronk. See, how important is Rob Gronkowski to the Patriots' chances of winning the sixth Super Bowl? The only reason why Gronkowski is not getting the type of attention as far as his blocking, because people don't know that much about football. They don't realize how important. New England's offensive line, they have been fabulous. But every, the tone is set by their center and their two guards. They are the heart and soul of that offense. That is why Sony Michelle had an outstanding rookie year. But in the playoffs, Rob Gronkowski, you can add him as an extended lineman. And he is the consummate teammate. You need a lot of guys like Gronk to be able to win football games. I said, my number one skill is not as important. My number one skill is whatever you need me to do to be able to win a game. And Rob Gronkowski is outstanding as far as the amount of football he knows. Well, Chris, how do you know he knows this much football? How many times they put him in motion? Do you realize when you're an offensive player and they send you in motion, you go from being one player in the offense to being a different player. So if you line up outside the number, you, you motion inside the slot. Now you're a slot receiver. You're not a tight anymore. You're a slot receiver. Now you motion into the backfield. Now you're a fullback. Now you motion to the end of the line. He comes back in motion. He whams block, uh, wham blocks a defensive tackle. That means chipping a guy inside out. Now he's an offensive lineman. You have to be almost a brilliant football player to be able to do that. And he's their number one wide receiver. Late in the game, we're going to put you outside to be able to make the decisive plays, not only in the fourth quarter, but in overtime. Man, he is a tremendous football player in his skill sets. Man, that they utilize him because that's what New England does. What is Rob Gronkowski not good at right now? He's not a burner down the right. field. So you're not going to see him getting in a bunch of foot races. That's why it was stupid to have him at the end of the game with the Dolphins. Because that's not something that they have you do. Gronk making a, a tackle in open space. Typically, they put you in a strength where you're going to utilize the skill that you have. And that's what we've seen with Gronk. He's been amazing in this last month of football. What, your point that Gronk is a Gronk, like that... That is that is how Gronk has presented himself, and I think it's helped make him money off the field, and it's helped enhance his brand for post career. But it's done him a disservice as far as people recognizing that other than Tom Brady, nobody knows this offense better than Rob Gronkowski. Other than Tom Brady, nobody knows what other guys' jobs are on any given play better than Rob Gronkowski because his C's point, he has to know in this play what is the tight end supposed to do, slot receiver, potentially someone in the backfield.